They are known as the king of the jungle, but what if lions weren't the toughest beast in the land? Well, guess what? They might not be. The world is a scary place full of terrifying beasts, and some of them can go claw to claw with the jungle's biggest kitty cat. These are animals that could defeat a lion. Number 15. Giraffe Giraffes are generally well known to be tall, mild-mannered, vegetarians who just want to chill. There's probably a whole lot of viewers who can relate to that, but not enough people know that giraffes are also capable of some impressive strength. Seriously impressive. If you asked the general public who would win in a battle between a giraffe and a lion, the answer seems like a foregone conclusion. But if you said the lion, you'd be wrong. Like many animals, the giraffe harbors a secret. It's a badass. It just keeps that little fact extremely quiet. The truth is that a single kick by a giraffe could quickly kill a lion. Whether that death is caused by a lion's broken spine or even full-on decapitation depends on where the giraffe manages to land the kick. But believe me, a lion getting its head kicked off by a giraffe is absolutely possible. While the giraffe has long been given the harmless, tall vegetarian reputation, the truth is quite different. This is an animal that is more than capable of defending itself against the world's most notorious predators, should it come to that. But mostly, it's just a tall, harmless vegetarian. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Zebra can defeat lions. You may be thinking that we've lost our minds, even thinking a zebra could defeat or kill a lion, but actually, it happens more often than you may think. Take a look at this video, and you'll see exactly what I mean. The video shows a baby zebra trying its damnedest to escape the fatal clutches of a pursuing lioness. Running is obviously not working out as well as it should, with the lioness rapidly catching up and eventually pouncing on the zebra. So naturally, the zebra does the only thing it can think of, kick it square in the face. And you know what? It works. The lioness backs off, and the zebra runs to freedom. When you think about it, that solution should really be common sense to everybody chased by a lion. Apparently, this is the go-to move for a zebra escaping a lion, often leading to the lion's eventual death. A well-timed and well-placed zebra kick can dislocate the lion's jaw, making it unable to chew or eat, and leading to its eventual starvation and death. So we should probably stop with the zebras are weak argument. They can kill lions. How much? much more badass can you get? Number 13. Tiger Conventional logic would tell you if anybody can take down a big cat, it's another big cat, and that logic apparently is pretty sound in this case. While lions and tigers may have their differences, they're a pretty great match when it comes to a straight-up fight. This video shows what happened when a lion and a tiger happened to meet in the wild. Naturally, these two giant cats decided that the other posed a significant threat to its reputation or something along those lines, and decided to just have a full-on fight. That fight, of course, is one of the most brutal and violent you'll ever see in the wilderness. Eventually, the tiger manages to get so many good shots in at the lion that the king of the jungle is forced to basically abandon the fight and run away for its own health. Clearly, this is a win for the tiger, and more proof that big cats are worthy adversaries for the lion. But it also goes to show that in the jungle, there are no clean fights, just money brawls that are conveniently left out of the Disney movies. Number 12. African Cape Buffalo In all honesty, the Cape Buffalo could easily be an excellent choice to defeat, well, any animal that it damn well wants to. After all, the Cape Buffalo is also known as the Black Death, owing to its long-standing reputation as having killed more big-game hunters than any other animal in Africa. The African Cape Buffalo is a strong animal in its own right, but it becomes a real force to be reckoned with when in a group. This is when the animals truly become the Black Death. 
And if you need any proof, just look at how these incredibly heavy animals toss around this lion as if it's a rag doll. Can you imagine how much strength is required in that buffalo's neck to just fling a lion into the air like it's nothing? Man, humans are weak by comparison, aren't we? Look, there is categorically no way that a lion could survive against a mob of Cape buffaloes. The Black Death waits for no lion, it just kind of throws it around like a volleyball. So to answer your question, yes, I am afraid of the Cape Buffalo. Number 11. Hyena Lions often tend to have one major disadvantage when it comes to fighting their opponents, numbers. Usually, a predatory lion is working alone, while their target animal, for example, a hyena, brings their whole crew along to the fight. Yikes. If a lion were to take on a lone hyena, the fight would be pretty easy to call from the outset, but when the lion is taking on maybe 20 hyenas, the lion will quickly find himself outnumbered. and unable to fend off all of them, essentially making the whole fight doomed to end in failure for the big cat. In this video, the lion only survives because he has a buddy who turns up to scare away the hyenas. That's right. The only way for a lion to survive a pack of hyenas is to have a buddy there to help him fight. If the lion found himself alone and confronted by a pack of hyenas, there's next to no chance that the king of the jungle would make it out alive. But if he wasn't alone, sure. So technically, yes, the hyena could defeat the lion if the conditions were right. Although I guess that's true for all of us. We could all defeat a lion if we could defeat a lion, right? Number 10. Hippo Don't be fooled by the illusion that they're big and fat and jolly. Hippos ain't Santa. They are mean and aggressive and they will hurt you. And by you, I mean literally any living being on this planet because these things have absolutely no chill. In the instance of a hippo and lion fight, the winner would be decided in a matter of minutes, and it really depends entirely on just how ready the lion is for the fight. If it turns up to the fight with the whole pride alongside them, they stand a good chance at taking down the hippo, but if they make the questionable decision to come alone, well, you can see the video. They don't stand a chance against the hippo. The hippo's bite force alone would kill the lion in a matter of seconds. The fight between a hippo and a lion really depends entirely on whether the lion is alone or not. Like many animals, the hippo doesn't stand a chance against a whole pride of lions, but if they happen to be alone, time to kiss life goodbye, I guess. Number 9. Elephant Sure, the lion may be king of the jungle, but it seems most of the respect in the animal kingdom goes to a much larger animal, the elephant. And it seems even the lion is in agreement, or is at least a little scared, because who wouldn't be? So who would win in a fight between a lion and an elephant, you're wondering? Well, in this case, it all comes down to the size of the two animals. The elephant is bigger and far stronger than the lion, which is an immediate plus. She roars and uses powerful trumpet blasts. The lion can only kill its prey by biting them, but it cannot handle the damage of being stepped on by the elephant. And because of that, the whole fight comes to an end very, very quickly. Once again, the only chance the lion has of winning the fight is to team up with a pack. Generally, lions are smart enough to avoid preying on elephants, meaning this particular matchup is very rare in the natural world. Not unheard of, but rare. Apparently, lions don't really have any desire to be killed by big, respectable animals with tusks. Number 8. Rhino there will be no mincing of words here. Rhinos could kill literally any animal they so desired. After all, they're a big, horned animal with an incredibly unpredictable bottomless rage. You get on the wrong side of that, and you won't have any organs left. I'm not sure we have to go into too much detail on how exactly the rhino would win the fight. We've all seen the rhino charge at other animals, and we all know what happened to the unsuspecting victims, so it stands 
stands to reason that the lion would naturally be thrown around as if it were a rag doll before the rhino ended its life with a well-targeted stab of its horn. It's a pretty easy fight to call, especially since the rhino has no natural predators and skin so thick that the lion would have to work extra hard to even have a shot. The lion may well be one of the world's best predators, but there's no chance of it besting the rhino. Anger problems and horns just make for one horrifyingly unbeatable rival. Number 7. Wildebeest the wildebeest is one of the more curious animals on our planet. Here we have a horned antelope that just chooses not to be aggressive. A horned animal that isn't aggressive? That sounds like a miracle if I've ever heard one. It would be completely bonkers to even suggest that a wildebeest would prove to be a threat to a lion, right? The wildebeest is, after all, targeted by just about every predator in Africa. But take a look at this video and you may rethink that conclusion. Here you see a single wildebeest fending off not one, but two lions. The wildebeest spins and flips the lions off of its hind and horns until, eventually, the lions accept that they just can't win this one and wander off looking for another meal. It's actually a pretty impressive win, all things considered. Judging by this video, the wildebeest may very well be one of the only animals that can actually survive against multiple lions, which means means the wildebeest may have something of an advantage in the lion beating contest. And apparently that's a contest that just about every animal is a part of. Number 6. Brown Bear Brown bears should not, in any circumstances, be underestimated. These are an intensely dangerous animal, boasting a huge weight, unthinkable muscles, a terrifying bite strength, and, well, those claws, though. Basically, they are a worthy adversary for the lion. Almost too worthy. It's highly unlikely that these two animals would ever meet and get into a fight, though not impossible. However, if they did happen to find themselves in the middle of this nature-based cage match, one side would easily come out victorious. And of course, it wouldn't be the lion. The brown bear has its violent reputation for a reason, and it's not for taking it easy on its targets. The lion would be ripped limb from limb if the brown bear felt ticked off enough, and rest assured, if you're in a fight with a brown bear, that bear is already very ticked off. Again, this is not your everyday nature grudge match. The circumstances to get these two animals to fight are very, very unique. But if it did happen, the lion wouldn't even stand a chance. It would probably do its best and get a few good shots in, but that lion is dead. Number 5. Python Pythons are one of the largest snake species in the world, notorious for enveloping their prey and constricting to the point of death. But how would a fight between a python and a lion go? That depends, I guess. How much money do you have? In all seriousness, this would be an incredibly close fight. An adult lion could quickly dispatch the python if desired, though they much prefer to avoid snakes if they can. While the python isn't venomous, it could quickly get the upper hand on the lion if it managed to wrap itself around the cat's body. At that point, it could slowly constrict to the point of suffocating the lion entirely until it eventually died. So it's a close fight, but it all depends on whoever can get the upper hand and how quickly. There aren't many animals in the world that could survive an encounter with a python. Like most snakes, species all across the animal kingdom have respect and fear for the python. You just don't want to be the one to be strangled to death over a meal, you know? Number 4. Crocodile to be fair, the crocodile could probably defeat just about any living creature you put in its path, and that holds up in the hypothetical fight between a croc and a lion. It would be a hell of a good fight, too. Comes to crocodiles, often spending as much time away from the water as they possibly can. After all, crocs have been known to attack lions that drink at the water's edge. But if these two animals ever came to have an actual fight, 
there probably wouldn't be a clear winner. If the lion joins the fight with some friends from its pride, the lion has an obvious advantage. But if the crocodile manages to pull the lion into the water, the battle is over for the lion. And if it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight on land, well, that's anybody's guess. The crocodile is surprisingly agile. Ultimately, the outcome of the fight would be a real coin toss, depending on the circumstances. It's just too close to call. But I think we can say with some confidence that the crocodile has a good chance of emerging victorious. Number 3. Leopard Cat versus cat fights are always some of the most fascinating to witness. These animals are so similar and yet so different that the battle usually becomes incredibly difficult to call. And in the case of the lion versus the leopard, yeah, toss a coin. Generally speaking, leopards are the smallest members of the large cat community, which is an obvious disadvantage. The lioness is just bigger and heavier. However, the male leopard is naturally stronger and more muscular, thanks to its habit of carrying heavy animal carcasses. The leopard made them gains, bro. Don't underestimate it. So when it comes to an actual fight between these two big cats, the question of who would ultimately win is, well, kind of unknown. But clearly the leopard has the strength that could very easily overpower and destroy the lioness. So in that case, it's probably likely that the leopard would win. But again, it all depends on how much you're willing to pay me. While most of the fights on our list have been hypothetical in nature, this is one of the few that could actually happen. Although you better hope you're not hanging around when it does. You don't want to become the next target of a leopard and a lion. Number 2. Wild Dogs you probably didn't know this, but lions and African wild dogs are the ultimate enemies. These two species have been fighting and killing one another for decades. Although nobody really knows why, as the lions don't eat the wild dogs they kill. If you have any idea why, feel free to drop it in the comments, because that's just weird actually. Wild dogs are among the world's most social animals, living in packs and communicating with their own unique language. This makes them into intelligent and cooperative rivals, using strategy and teamwork to best their potential enemies. And of course, in this case, that enemy is the infamous lion. Lions willing to take down just about any wild dog that they see in the wild, often prioritizing the pups if they can. However, when the lion is forced, to go up against a pack of wild dogs, that mission becomes a whole lot more complicated. The lifelong battle between lions and wild dogs will likely never end, but we know for a fact that both of them are more than capable of taking on each other. This is actually one of the greatest fights in the animal kingdom that you never even knew existed. Number 1. Honey Badger the honey badger should be number one in any list, detailing animals that could defeat others. While they may be tiny and kind of cute looking, you shouldn't be fooled. These animals are fearless and more than willing to take on quite literally any animal it happens to find. That includes lions. When it comes to the fight between lions and honey badgers, the honey badger has a notable advantage, its skin. The honey badger's skin is considered one of the strongest ever to be found in an animal, which no doubt makes it even more confident in taking on larger predators. Unfortunately for the lion, doing the reverse is much more difficult, if not impossible. Should the lion manage to catch the honey badger, it would probably find that chewing through its skin is almost impossible. Fights between lions and honey badgers are not unheard of, particularly due to the honey badger's overly confident attack style. Turns out that a small animal with a strong temper and an even stronger hide is hard to kill. What are the chances of that? Which of these fights do you think would be the coolest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.